Regenerative design. Indoor air quality. Ecological design. Energy and carbon reduction. Responsible water usage. Cost versus value. Daylighting. Regenerative design is focused on creating closed loop systems that have a net positive impact on human and ecological health. Indoor air quality is a major factor for the health, well-being and productivity of occupants in an interior environment and this is greatly impacted by the use of non-toxic materials. Ecological design is utilizing and enhancing ecosystem services to benefit the community and making responsible use of the materials we have around us. Energy and carbon reduction, where we reduce the amount of energy and carbon both in the material life cycle as well as the building operation. Responsible water usage, it involves harvesting rainwater from the roof where possible and reducing the volume of potable water use. Cost versus value, investment today to offset long-term operational costs. Daylighting, making use of natural light rather than artificial light.